I feel like I feel like we all gonna be wearing hats except for Wayne. Mm, the sea boss man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hit y'all with that New York look. That New York look. Oh, that's a Jewels. Jewels. You you know dang well y'all went to school back in the days like this. At least once. But I didn't, even, I didn't even wear hats until I was like, I don't know, until I got older. I, got, I started losing hair, and then I started wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, what about this one right here? T.I.P. <laughs> T.I.P. <laughs> yo, where's Wayne? He said, he just joined. Let me know. Let me in now. Let me in now. <laughs> this man. Hey, this man, this man, he stopped because he went back to put on a hat. That's what happened. He left. And went to go put on a hat. <laughs> oh, shoot. Let me go get my hat. Oh, I did man. say that. That's exactly what I said. He said, oh, shoot. Let me go get the, let me go get the purple. <laughs> yeah. I wrapped up the hoodie on. Jeez. Let, let, let me find him, out that you were going to hit him with that New York. Go hit him with that New York real quick. Right. And hey, let us can. find out this is you and wifey lighting, though. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> she come home, he's sitting there on the couch like this. But <laughs> um, I'm, I'm pulling up this sheet real quick because uh, I got, you know me, I gotta have some notes. Um, I'm glad you got notes because otherwise we'd just be winging it. Exactly. Um, so we're going to try to keep this. T well, before we say anything, um, so my thing says we have four viewers, but is that collectively or is that separately? I think that's collectively. Because right when we started, it said 23. Oh, okay. no, it's probably you. If you had 23, you know, you famous. You famous, famous, so it probably was you. Yes, yeah, so I should tell everybody I'm an expert at something and to buy my book. Right, hold on. Indeed. I'm bro. a spam. Um, real no, quick. Yeah, uh, real quick, so we, we good on the, the volumes everywhere? Y'all hear me? I hear you, yeah, 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 I, I lost some. Everybody sounds good, man. So real quick, um, I want to just roll through a couple things. Um. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a quick icebreaker, and then we're going to talk about Kia, tell everybody how they can find it, and, you know, and then uh, we'll do some clo closing. So I wanted to uh, keep it lighthearted at first. So I got a couple would you rathers. Would you rather? Now, I feel like I'm not good at this game. Now, it's a would you rather, and you got to give me a little logic behind it, because we're, we're about to see, you know, how your mind works. All right. So first things first, would you, we're going to start easy. Would you rather live the rest of your life on a floating sailboat RV or an RV on land? Sailboat. Easy. Why? Why? Because I'm yeah. introverted. <laughs> Because I'm introverted. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Y'all remember why. the Truman Show? Y'all remember the Truman Show when he yeah, finally gets a... to the end of the water and he hits that wall? That's yeah. Wes. Not trying to be Jim Carrey stuck on the uh, Universal. <laughs> I might have to get my, my my daughter soon. What's that mean? I might have to go get her soon. Hold on. I'll, I'll be back. Um, um, I what? think I I would choose. Uh, Definitely on wheels, cause. Thanks, so wait, so can you can you ever leave the RV? That's just your place of residence permanently. Either something docked by the water. You got that boat RV. Here, you got... Huh. Ah, my bad. I would say nah. I'd rather be on the road. I'm good. I can also see. Go. See, but see, Mark Stevie knows he he be on full time dad alert. But he puts the hat on to make it look like he don't ha he don't have no kids. Yeah, I gotta right. be I gotta be a cool dad. <laughs> See, he put the hat, he, he he got that fresh and fresh in college dorm look, but little do they know he got five kids. Look, I'm, I got a college dorm <laughs> body too. On the way. I'm trying to 
<laughs> little does he know if you hit the little tw swerve around on the camera view and you see what's behind him is five kids looking dead at him like hey, bro, it's, it's a daycare. You want to see what's you want to see what's next to me, bro? Wipes. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's what goes on. I oh, wish you could say the right. wipes were for your kids. Hey, look, I appreciate I appreciate you, Mark. You know what I'm saying? You know, I feel like you know at some point in time. It's the melanin, but other times it's because you know I sleep on a regular basis with my kids. You know, next to you my look kids. like the Let black duck funny right kids. now, <laughs> huh? Uh, he kind of look like black the black duck funny, funny, right, funny right, now. right now. Doug funny, man. Look, bro, look, I'm gonna send this to all my good friends and then I'm gonna roast you first. I'm gonna send it to my good friends and then I'm gonna roast you so they know that I'm roasting you. You look like Slim Fast right now. <laughs> you look like a bullet. Uh. No, no, no. He looked like Slim Fast. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to play with you. Yeah, yeah there we go. No, but, but, uh, Where'd you rather? Wait, so you want to be on land in the RV. Wes wants to go sail out in the water by himself. Mm -hmm. Yes. As long as I got social but, media, I'm fine. But you ain't gonna have no media. social media out in the water, bro. I mean, you you know they got they got they got stuff like that on the Navy. Got stuff like that they can, you know, contact people from the water. So so we know y'all two are way different. I'm definitely doing an RV on land. Let's ramp this up. Would you rather know the history of every single object you touched, or would you rather be able to talk to animals? Talk to animals. I would definitely rather know the history because I am a nerd and what else? Because I feel like I can make well, I guess you can make a lot of money talking to animals too. Hmm. Think think about it. If I'm if I'm off, if I'm off water, if I'm off on water, then I'm gonna need to talk to animals. But if I if I give somebody that and I'm then I'll know everything about their life. You I just then you gonna be a fortune teller? Either that or I'm. He said I'm gonna touch someone and know everything about their life. Their life, like yo. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> I, I feel like hey, I was. Gonna, hey, I feel like I want to roast Reese right now, but I'm gonna just. Right. I'm gonna just let her make it. She called us ugly. That means M. <laughs> Nah, we know he's talking oh, about. Oh, because I'm covering up half the screen real estate right now. <laughs> we know what he's talking about. I got more. Uh, I got more ugly equity. All right, let's bro. let's move. Indeed, let's move bro. on. I definitely, I definitely would probably. See, that's tough, man. You gotta talk to animals, bro. You have to. You can make money talking to animals. I'm a, I'm gonna know the history and then I'm gonna call Wes when I need to talk to someone. He'll be my translator. <laughs> First animal contact. <laughs> First, he'll be he'll be my all time animal QB. Okay. Well, my my uh, cat been doing this little swish move. I need to know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> my cat is moving in the living room. Come talk to this man. <laughs> uh, real quick, we got two more left. Would you rather have all traffic lights wow. be green? Or would you rather never stand in a line again? Mm. Never stand in the line again. I would rather. Yeah. See, this is the oh, deal breaker for y'all's relationship because so far y'all are opposite ends. Yeah, but that could also be why we work so well together. Exactly. Um, nah, I think. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good with. I, I would rather never stand in line again. But the question really is, how many lines do you stand in? The D, well, the but DMV, I can just go to line. The only, that's the only line. The only line. The See, it, it feels it feels like the line is the easy choice. But the real question is, how often do you find yourself in a line? Maybe for food, uh, if something drops that's rare. But even then, like, do you have to be in line anymore? But think about it. If you if you got a text, red lights do you justice. Reese said, um, "All, all, all green traffic lights means crashes. Duh." 
Nah, nah. What it means is if, if you ever drove, anytime you drive, all your mm -hmm. lights are going to be oh, green. So you get the right away on everybody. All time Daddy, right you do away. want candy. You do want yeah. candy? Yeah. What's the mindset? I, I, think we all, I think we all on the same page, though. Now, yeah. last question. This is the easier one. Gushers or fruit by the foot? Oh. What say you? Fruit by the foot. That's easy. Oh. For real? <laughs> fruit by the foot. <laughs> no, you, 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 the only way to get flavor from fruit by the foot, you have to, like, ball it up. See, fruit by the foot is more fun, though. Yeah, that's true. Nah, Gushers, though. I said I go with Gushers. I, how do you say you Gushers? Fruit by the foot, bro. <laughs> I, I'm curious. If fruit by the foot is more fun, how do you eat fruit by the foot? Dang, he said, nah, see, pause. Get out, of my, get out of here. You don't need to be knowing how I'm eating fruit by the <laughs> foot, bro. bro. Don't ever ask get me how I'm eating fruit man. by the foot. Bro. Get off my life with that. Don't worry about how I eat fruit by the foot. Okay. So so we got Wayne said Gushers. You said fruit by the foot? Fruit by the foot. Easy. Uh, I'm torn, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. I love – it was like I started off with Gushers, and then when I found out about fruit by the foot, I was like – I was in a split relationship. We said the eyeball says that. That's see, the only way to eat See, that that tells that me that the purpose though, Re does, Reese. That like tells me it. that as a kid, you would eat like two or three fruit by the foots because if that's you the only ball way it up, it. if you ball but, it up, you get so mad that the experience goes by so quick. If, if you had a black, yeah, that's why it's trash. That's why he gushes. There ain't no way you eat eat <laughs> one fruit by the foot and smash it up. So how do you like a like a paper? <laughs> Ball. That's disgusting. You, you, like you got to be going to bed with a with a gross stomach. He said, <laughs> oh. <laughs> like I said, Reese, don't be worried about how I eat my fruit by the foot. See, bro. I be I be I be treating it like tape around here, putting little pieces of it everywhere, hanging off, so I can have fruit by the foot <laughs> wherever I go in the house. To reward yourself for <laughs> <laughs> I go in the kitchen. Oh shoot, fruit by the foot. How does get here? <laughs> um, okay. Real quick though, fellas. Um, I just wanna break down I, I don't really wanna break Kia down, but like I kinda wanna talk about real quick like how it came together as far as like because for people that don't know, Kia really is about like being in a position where life is really crazy and you know the older you get the more responsibilities you get the more sensitivity you get to like being in a bunch of transition yeah. and and a lot of times you get put in this situation where you're like I physically and mentally cannot handle the amount of change going on sometimes it's not even like your own personal life change sometimes it's like it might be the news. It might be social media. It might be you just looking out in the world and going, dang, I just, I literally can't keep up with any of this. And so, like, there's a hope in God in that when you feel that flurry of, like, I feel like I'm losing control and I feel off off center of my calm and my, my peace and my hope, uh, God is there and, and it's a it's a beautiful moment to to realign and seek God because he's the only one that can fulfill uh, that peace that you yeah. ultimately want. And the thing the thing that's crazy about a trial or or being overwhelmed is it's an attention grabber. So yeah. so as a man, the first instinct is usually to go grab it and, and put it into submission and put life under control. Right. Yeah. But but I'm talking about when you've exhausted yourself of that and you finally get to the point where you literally are pulled to both ways and you literally can't do anything else about it. The only thing you have is uh is God. And then th that conversation that begins to start with like just that moment of God, I I can I I'm paralyzed. Like I literally have to look up because I don't have any more arms 
to 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 take hold of this stuff and even when i do take hold of it it's still out of control so yeah. um th does anything come come to y'all's mind like practically in your own life as far as like when you get to that place what's kind of like a good go-to for you guys that kind of helps begin that that peace process because sometimes you could be stuck in that for a minute it just seems like you're down about everything because life is so out of whack and nothing is consistent yeah what's that you ask you huh you want to go first you? huh you want I me to go first <laughs> yeah go ahead <laughs> oh shoot oh shoot i ain't even i'm i'm trying to I'm, I'm sending it live. Um, cool. So for me, uh, I get I get crowded very easily, very quickly. Um, that's the reason scatterbrain. It's another. It's like another. It's kind of like saying anxiety, but it's just scatterbrain, right? Mm -hmm. um, but like for me, I I have to. I remember. I remember. And it just, it taught me, it, I, when I got married, I used to get into these fights with my wife. And I used to go outside. And I used to, I used to, I talked to, I literally talked to God, like, raw. Like, just, how how we talking right now? I'm talking to God in the purest, rawest form. And so for me, just letting, being able to let that out. And then, whether whether I'm right or she's right, whether I'm wrong or she's wrong, I just I just lay it out and like yo uh, I don't know I don't know what's going on I feel out of sync I feel out of union right now like you know what I'm saying if I'm wrong show me let me and then let me humbly say yo I'm wrong or bring it up like I don't want to be the one you know what I'm saying causing you know what I'm saying any friction between us and so that's kind of just step out talk to God sit down like sit clear my head because like most of the time it's just like even even whether i'm off of social media off of my phone like y'all always be like yo you ain't answer your phone you ain't answer you know text message like people always do that it's because i need time to actually you know think instead of other things telling me what to think so it's like yeah. uh, so your time. first <laughs> your first instinct is i gotta go talk to god immediately like when you get pushed to the wall you ain't got nothing else left your first instinct is a conversation with god wayne is it the same for you what is it for, what's your first if if that if that stress is like jumping out of an airplane and you're at that high altitude, what's your first instinct? I know it's gonna sound super like searchy, but for real, for real, it's like jump into the word. Like seriously, um, namely like your Matthew fives, like just kind of sitting under um, uh, Jesus's teachings. Honestly, like. Um, especially listening to like when he talks about don't take any thought for like tomorrow or um just like just 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 uh recalibrating like my heart and mind are like okay what really matters in life like for real for real when it really comes down to it so there's that and then also like ecclesiastes is another good one that just puts in perspective like what matters for real for real in life it's just like oh okay well, I guess it really ain't that deep. It is that deep, but it's not. I feel you know, like I feel like it's important to have those two things you guys mentioned in conversation because the conversation to with God is is the the emptying of your your emotional state, right? Like initially, it's God. I feel this. I can't do this. I need this. Yeah. It, it's it's a it's a surrendering of like okay, whatever control I had, I'm letting you know I'm aware that I, I can't handle this. Yeah. But the, tr the truth component of it is so crazy because the truth component is the lens, it's the guide for how we should see that issue, right? Yeah. Like, like it, it is the roadmap to recovery, so to speak, and it combats the lies because when you lack faith you believe lies yeah and so i think i think an important i know for me personally like when i'm talking to god sometimes it's literally like 
a week long. It's like, like it, it, it might be like multiple routine comebacks to a conversation with God because it might take me three to five days just to empty myself of my own heart. Mm. And it's interesting when you talk to God more than once, like you actually can almost look outside of yourself. And after you empty your whole self, you can kind of see more importantly, like what are the triggers of this anxiety right now? Cause yeah. normally there's like two reactions to not having control. One is like anger. Like you get angry when you don't have control. And the other thing is like depression and anxiety, right? And I, I think we wrestle with both of those, but I think impulsively, depending on the situation, I might be prone to get more mad when I'm out of control with, with something specific in my life. Whereas the other thing, I might get more depressed. I think we normally, we, we lean on, on a certain type of reaction, but mm. I've learned that the truth component is so important and something that's so helpful for me is like when you have passages that deal about like the sovereignty of God, uh, the protection of God, um, truths that combat certain lies you would be led to believe when you don't have control, uh, which is that like you can't have peace. Like somehow by not being in control, you can't you can't establish peace uh, or comfort in Him or or you have to hold on and maintain, and that has to be your first priority over mm. simply knowing God and being comforted by who God is and, 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 and what his will is. Like, so sometimes for me, it's as real as printing out scripture, mm. one line scripture, and just, it might be sitting on the opposite side of my toilet. It might be sitting Pretty in my minus. car dash. Yeah, yeah. It, might be, it might be like right where I get my cereal every morning. Mm. Um, you know, and, and and for me, like, you know, you ever go to church and sometimes they got that, like, gospel primer type of, like, passages for depression, passages for, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah, like, sometimes you got to have, like, some of those truths that, like, when you're in that crazy emotional anxiety, they, they, they keep that little reminder in the back of your head because when you have anxiety... You're, the temptation there is to not get grounded. The temptation is like, no, I, I, I have to be thinking illogically. Like, I have to make sense of this. I have to hold on to something before I can give it to God. Like, let me do this first, then God. So, mm -hmm. like, the truth is like the, the sword uh, that intervenes uh, by the Holy Spirit. Um, it, it intervenes us leaning on our own understanding. Because most of the time, our anxiety and our, la and our lack of faith uh, is completely unreasonable. It, it's not warranted mm. at all. And it's actually mm. extremely toxic to the spirit. And so um, I like the combination of both being able to empty yourself in front of God in multiple conversations. Mm. Um, just to kind of, because sometimes when I'm venting to God, it might take me the second or third day to really figure out how I really feel deep down, mm -hmm. right? Like, like it might not, I might not even be aware in that first conversation with God, how deep my suffering actually is in that moment. Mm -hmm. And I might, I might make a solution for it. That's not, that's not even uh, touching the heart of the issue. So yeah. I like that combination of both being able to like empty yourself before God. And that's like a, a sacred supernatural safe and and, and uh it, it's a it, it's a the perfect place for for my instability and my lack of faith to sit before god in submission and say like god do you um, right, right. And then using the truth of god that he's already spoken to then guide me back to a lot of the things that god has already answered about this situation right and uh, it can almost be like a new revelation, a new recalibration. Yeah. Um, and, and that's just like really helpful. You guys have any last minute thoughts on that idea? Um, yeah, I was gonna say like, you can see, especially um, if you read like the Psalms where David, he's wrestling um, with, with God, with God, like wrestling in prayer. And you see like his perspective change from like the beginning of um, the Psalms. And, so it just gave me that thought while you're 
a lot of times when you're venting out to God or you're crying out to God, really where the change happens is more so in you, like inside of you, and you're able to to really deal or cope with um, your your circumstances because it's like your faith is reactivated and you're able to just to because we know he doesn't change it's really us like we we waver we we don't know what what things are looking like we can't foresee the, the big picture so um yeah i just i really even, even that, that as a reminder right like yeah. just the reminder that god is consistent and we're inconsistent is mm -hmm. like just that simple truth and being like reminded in that moment like hey uh god god doesn't change so your instability right now uh doesn't doesn't project onto god it's like right. you you get to submit your frail instability before somebody who has it figured out and um who cares yeah um so to tell people a little bit about kia um wes What's is on the that, first church verse. Mafia? Uh, what up girl um wes is on the first verse wayne produced the record um, we're not going to give any other news out. Uh, I'm on the second verse and on the hook. Um, for people who haven't heard us on a record before, what do y'all think is special about Kia? Like it could be how it could be part of the process. It could just be the song itself. What somebody who hasn't heard us three on a record before, what would be the selling point for you as far as what you think is special Bro. about what we do? You see that? That's confirmation. Dream Team. That was my first. That was our first group message name. Dream Team. <laughs> I want. Um, I want Wes to go first. Go ahead. What do I feel special about this? About this? About the uh, uh, you about can, You can either comment on the process, like our process together, or just the song itself. Somebody who's never heard this song before. What What's special about it to you? Oh, uh, what's special about Kia? I feel. <clears throat> I feel in general, um, I can only speak from knowing what's going on. Like, I've been knowing y'all for a while. So I think I think what's dope about the track is, is our relationship outside of music. Then when it comes to music, people don't really know that Wayne, Wayne don't, I, Wayne has been the Neo Soul, um, scatterbrain producer or whatever but then when it then when they hear this it's like oh well like and so it's like for me it's like wayne growing and then for me they didn't people wouldn't wouldn't have known that like i didn't write most of the, this stuff like so it's like i feel like i feel like all together we're causing each other to grow and then you like you're spearheading literally everything like it's like okay i'm gonna do this like and so, like, I just feel like we just, it's just, like, the growth that happens behind the music. Like, I think that's dope. And people, would, people wouldn't just know that. They, people would just hear it and be like, oh, that's dope. They wouldn't think, like, yo, all this stuff is happening on the background. Like, I th and most people don't. But I just think people hear it and they'd be like, oh, this is, because I've gotten responses like, yo, this is catchy. And I'm like, dang. Because I, yeah. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think, do you think our relationship together uh, as brothers basically translates in the music? Do I think it translates? Yeah. I think it, I think it's translating. I think it'll translate better over time, but I think it's right now it's trans it's translated. And okay. it's like so I think I think it's only gonna get better. Wayne, what you think? Yeah. What, I what's what's special about us or the song? I definitely think, like he said, the authenticity like shines through for sure. And I mean, I think the other thing is um, the the marriage of the re the actual beat with the concept. Um, it works, especially with um, just the whole the whole concept, like of uh, of um, the pick me up, like you know, like yo, it's crazy right now, but it's gonna be all right, like you know, I. And I think that that whole that whole vibe shines through. Like this is the one that you turn on when like you're you're stressed, like you're distressed. And it's like it's playful. It's almost like kitty in a way. Um, and, and it's just you can't. It's on. It's one of those records where, like, if you don't, if you're not, if you if you haven't been picked up after this, like, 
Like something's really wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you're, something's you're really wrong. Like, with yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Like you're 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 in the sunken place for real. You know. Yeah. I think I think um, what we were talking about earlier, like having a conversation with God paired with this important emphasis on truth, is like something that this song has. Like. I think what's special about our relationship is the way we view things and the way that we create is very unique to each other. And mm -hmm. when that clashes together, you, you just get some very like loaded music, you know, where it's mm -hmm. like, there's something right up front and then there's something to kind of peel back and discover over time. Like, like Wes said, um, I think also like our music, like, even if it's, playful and fun and like high energy it also has like a lot of heavy truth so i think yeah. for somebody at first glance listening to this song and feeling like it's very like celebratory and like trusting god if you really peel back and listen to the messages like even the way we talk about a lack of faith or like talking to god um is just different than a lot of people do it Mm -hmm. And so it gives people a unique experience to be able to like be encouraged in the faith in a special way. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I feel like it, it, it just has a lot to offer. You know, you know <laughs> whenever, I, whenever I heard it, I, whenever I would listen to it, I would think it sounds real CHH. But certain people uh, who pre-saved uh, told me that it doesn't sound CHH at all. Yeah. And that was like, yeah. that was kind of shocking to me. I was like, oh, shoot. Okay, yeah. Let me I know. feel like I feel like the young crowd especially when they listen to CHH or or anything like I think it's not even CHH specific. I think we're very like we listen for what we're familiar with first. Yeah. And the impulse is like if we hear something familiar, it's like, "Oh, I've heard that before." And I think from that standpoint when you listen to this song, there's elements in it that feel familiar, right? Like maybe the bounce, maybe the singing. Um, there, there's elements and texture in there where you're like, oh, I've heard something like that before. But I think when you listen to the song and then you run it back, you're like, well, this is actually different. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, um, I, I think it's like normal for people to feel like, to have a response of like, oh yeah, that sounds like such and such. But then I also think it's like, it's just, it's an overtime thing. Like sometimes when there's something like deep and profound and meaningful, it takes a while to sit with it before you see it in a new light because mm, yeah. you, you, you like to look at things and have it all figured out. So yeah. you might just draw some conclusions right off the jump that you don't truly feel. You just like the comfort of thinking, you know, what's going on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, this song is awesome. I wanted to just um, say thank you to everybody. I think we hit like 105 pre-saves on it. So yes, thank we, you. we met our goal. Um, thank you to everybody who pre-saved this record. It really does help us to get like a good starting point uh, for the release. Um, it also helps the record get in the hands of people who may have never even heard of us before. So um, we're super thankful. Like when people hit you up for a pre-save, man, like that's real talk like it isn't just a stat war you know um it, it really it really helps to like especially in this entrepreneurial world where we're, we're all just getting it from the mud it really helps to put some some uh push behind what we do and we really care about the music so mm -hmm. um yeah. thank you guys so much for those pre-saves um can y'all tell uh for those of y'all y'all who don't know kia drops in 25 23 minutes on all platforms mm -hmm. um we, we have some incredible announcements to share with you guys next week we're not going to give them out now mm -hmm. so make sure you run up the numbers for kia let right us up. know like we had some special moments where people said that this song affected them in a special way if you want to continue the conversation about what it looks like for you to like either talk to god or how you manage your stress or if you ever feel overwhelmed by like social media and the news or even your own family or your own circumstances feel free to not only reach out to us maybe for prayer or just to like tell us what's going on in your life mm -hmm. because ultimately like our music is i think all of us would agree it's a conversation starter 
Like yeah. we want to say things and create conversations of value uh, for your faith and for your life. And any opportunity for that to like crystallize into a real conversation with us off camera and off music, uh, I think is like the ultimate win for all of us. And it's why we've been doing the music for so long. So um, thank you so much for running up those numbers. DM us uh, if the song touched you in any way. Um, do y'all have any other final thoughts to add before we close up? I don't want to mess up your, uh, all that. That was great. I appreciate everything. I appreciate the people that have supported already the free saves and hopefully it blesses you. I would ask awesome. Wes, but he already jumped off. Yeah. Wes jumped off. He probably <laughs> had to take care of the kids or, right. uh, he didn't pay his internet bill. <laughs> um, again, guys, thank you so much for supporting us. Uh, we have a lot of amazing news coming up, but uh, we wanted to just celebrate this moment and just go live and uh, be tangible uh, to everybody. Say thank you for all the help because uh, we really went person to person with asking for those pre-saves and we just barely met the goal, you know, like 105 and we were looking for 100. And before we started this live, we were at 100 uh, on the money. So um, thank you guys so much. Uh, listen to that record. Let us know how you feel. Save it. Share it. Share it with somebody who you might feel like is bugging out right now and is stressed mm -hmm. out and might just need that record to kind of um, sit and think about God. Uh, because I think when we sit and we think about God rather than our problems, or we sit and think about other people and God, uh, we realize that we're not the star of this show. Um, other people go through things uh, oftentimes a lot worse. Um, and God is the creator of the universe and us. So it's like, how much bigger is his plan and his peace and his understanding for us um, magnified when we take our eyes off of how, uh, how, Dire. how big we're, how, yeah. Like how big we're making these problems seem like they're literally like grains of sand. Mm -hmm. Um, when you really start to compare the characteristics of God versus like the size of our problems, whether it's death, whether it's joblessness, whether it's fatherlessness, um, whether it's sickness, sickness, especially right now, marriage, um, family dynamic issues, even just confusion, like God, what would you have for my life? Even that confusion is tiny. Um, and, and we're not saying that to downplay it, we're saying when you hold it next to God, it doesn't hold a candle. And that's actually something to be, uh, it doesn't even hold a flame to God. And uh, that's actually something to be excited about because now we can get to know God. And when you do that, um, God's goodness brings us to repentance and his glory uh, can give us peace and comfort. Uh, and we are his. So anyway, thank yeah. you guys so much for listening. Um, thanks, Wes, for jumping on. Wayne, thank you so much. Uh, I know we went a little bit over time, but I think we did pretty good uh, for our first uh, throwdown. We'll have to get together again. It was good. Um, save this. Uh, can I? I think so. Like, it probably will ask you. It probably will tell you when you um, end it. It'll ask okay, you yeah, I'll save. save it. Maybe we can throw it on a YouTube or something. Cool. All right, and I'll, I'll upload it, too. To my Please. Okay. All, All right, right, brother. Love you, man. You have a good night. You too.